what's going on this is mark here i'm at heathrow airport right now and this is the strangest thing i've ever seen at heathrow it is silent no one is talking everyone is wearing a face mask no shops are open no food places are open um it's it's really strange it's like a scene from the walking dead right now but i am on the way back to malaysia i'll be quarantined for two weeks at one of the hotels there and um, well it's going to be an interesting experience if you've been to heathrow you will know that there are so many flights here so check this out for the whole day this is it <laughs> that is the only flights from heathrow today that is crazy all the food places are closed look yo sushi also closed nowhere is open here every single person is wearing a mask and in England, nobody wears a mask usually. You don't see many people wearing masks um, or even following social distance rules. But here at the airport, every single person I've seen has wore a mask. So there weren't any direct flights to Malaysia. Malaysian Airlines, for example, isn't operating until July. So I took Cafe Pacific from London to Hong Kong and then to Malaysia. Now, before we were allowed to get on the plane, they checked our temperatures for health and safety. And when I finally boarded, I noticed a lot of people were taking some extreme health and safety precautions, which was great for social distancing. Oh, that's not a bat. More about this lady later on. So yeah, things were looking pretty good. I had finally left London. Cafe Pacific had took great health and safety precautions. Everything was going great until an hour later when I thought I was going to die. Oh, oh. And yes, I was one of those passengers that kept lifting up the window to see what was happening outside, which is really stupid because it just makes you worry even more. We are now descending into Hong Kong. So when I landed in Hong Kong, the most dumbest thing in the world happened. Okay, so all these passengers, for 12 hours, they are wearing face masks. They are keeping their social distance, and then when the plane lands, they ruin all those safety precautions by rushing to get their bags. Look at Mrs. Bat. Unbelievable. It is like a zoo. Oh my. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Why can't people just simply wait? It really gets on my nerves. For 12 hours, you're wearing all these protective masks, trying to be safe, and then as soon as the plane lands, you get up. Where's the social distance in that? It makes no sense, do you know what I mean? Okay, rant over. So, I reached Hong Kong and I was very worried because a lot of flights were cancelled. So, I explored the deserted airport, waiting for some news. I had as much Hong Kong food as I could because I didn't know what the quarantine food would be like. This was very nice, by the way. And then I found out my flight wasn't cancelled. So I'm on the flight now from Hong Kong to KL and literally there are three people on this flight. This is the emptiest flight I've been on in my life. Three people. And then after a nice three hour sleep, we had finally reached Malaysia. Very good in Samadon. So what happened next was we got off the plane and we were joined by some other Malaysians who had arrived from the Philippines. The immigration officers made us walk in a straight line, keeping our social distance, and then we had to pass the thermal scanner to see if we had a high temperature. I have to say, this was really impressive. When I arrived in London, we didn't have any of this. They didn't check which country we came from. There was no thermal scanner screening. So I suppose this is why Malaysia has such few cases because they really are taking good steps when it comes to health and safety. Next up, we had to take our coronavirus test. Now, obviously for security reasons, I can't show that, uh, but I'll tell you what happened next. So we were put in a line again. We were asked if we had any health conditions and then we had that coronavirus test. Now, if you don't know what a coronavirus test is, Trust me, it's not very nice. I had it taken in England before I came here and they will stick something up your nose for about four or five seconds. They'll twirl it around, it is not very nice. And then they'll stick something up your throat and it's like you're being sick, it is not good. This is what it looks like. Turn out and say, ah. Oh. Thank you. Oh, much. Thank you, cheers. It's written right down my nose. Oh. Smells funny as well, doesn't it? Mm. So after the horrible coronavirus test, we were given some more forms to fill out, asking us which country we came from, if we had any symptoms, and the quarantine rules. We then got our bags and headed to our transport to the hotel. There were these guys in these crime scene investigation outfits spraying the bags, which was really cool, until they asked me for my Adidas bag. Yep. 
That one on the floor right there. But you know what? It is really impressive how far Malaysia is going for health and safety. And once again, that's why the cases are so low. We got on the coach and then the coolest thing ever happened. For the first time ever in my life, I had a police escort. Oh yeah, traffic, make way. Because the quarantine kids are on the road. Honestly, this is really cool. So after our wonderful private police escort, we reached the hotel through the back door and we had to give a few details. They also asked us if we had any allergies or dietary needs. I was quite tempted to say that I didn't like spicy food, but I didn't want to be a diva. So Yana is escorting me to my hotel. This is really cool. Got like my uh, private service and the lifts as you can see are very protected. So I've just arrived at my quarantine hotel and uh, not bad actually, look at this. Pretty decent. Got an okay view, got an outdoors. Get some fresh air if I want. TV, bed. Oh! The word quarantine hotel, it sounds like, you know, a prison or something, because you are stuck in the room for two weeks. But I've got to say, this is not bad at all. And also, I can finally take off my mask. Oh, that feels so good. So yeah, I finally made it after the longest flight ever. Um, a lot of security, a lot of health and safety, which I think is really good. Yes, it's a very long process, but I think they're doing it to make sure everyone is safe. For a quarantine hotel, this is gonna be just fine. It's just 14 days, so hopefully I'll cope. But finally, the journey's over and I've made it back to Malaysia. So yes, I'm officially now in quarantine. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll be making another video soon as well about what life is like in quarantine, what the food's like, what the rules are, what the security is like. I'll be making that video real, real soon. So I'm starting my quarantine now. Wish me luck.